Kio Brothers, it's your boy Coinstock here, back at it again, stuff with these duffel bags and collecting that cheddar. Before I begin, please, 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 don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I got a Twitter, boy, so go follow me, you know, follow me on that mug. And also, disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a friend trying to educate you. All right, so, today, so I let the video that I made the other day sit, all right? It was a hot take video, right? And then I started thinking about the pros and the cons of this new Mad Meerkat Optimizer proposal. So I made kind of like a little like slide for you guys. So if you want to check that out, it will be shown in a little bit. But first, I just want to get through all this first. So $12.66, 4.9% in the green for the day. Now that's actually down from $13.05, I believe, uh, from the other day, the last video I made. Uh, this max supply, it may or may not be no more, but there it is. There's the total supply, circulating supply, market ca uh, market cap, and 24-hour uh, volume, blah, 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 yada, yada. You get the picture. Um, let's see. Let's look at the max. It's kind of been staying. Actually, this has kind of been staying steady, kind of growing steady since, uh, you know, Bitcoin kind of took a dump. It was at 47,000. Now it's at, like, 43,000 now so seeing this means that there's still organic growth for sure or there's just you know more capital coming in and now let's go ahead and look at mad meerkat so we actually went down like i believe the other day uh when i released the video i believe it was on tuesday we're at like an apex of 5611 and then we kind of lost 100 uh holders <laughs> 100 to well for the first day probably like 200 and then, yeah, nearly 200, and then kind of went down like another, like, you know, I'd say about 15. So, you know, 15. So there's that. Now, let's go ahead, <laughs> get into the pros and cons of the proposal. All right. So here's the little slide thing. Now, uh, I'm going to start off with the pros before we get into the heavy hitter cons. And then there's actually a little bonus at the end. So, we're just going to take a look at this and we're also going to look at some uh, other sites, try to compare, and then we'll bring it all back with that little bonus too. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So MMO proposal. Now we're looking at it now. All right. So let's go with the pros. The pros are going to be in green and the cons are going to be in red. So let's get it, brothers. So a pro, deeper liquidity. Now, we've seen it with the other projects that have been released in MM Finance. If we do say yes to uh, unlimited supply, uh, max supply for MMO. So we've seen it with other projects that MMO, I mean, not MMO, MMF has created, you know, MM Finance. So, like, let's look at it. Let's look at it. So there's obviously the one that does have the max supply at the top, Mad Meerkat Finance. That's kind of the, you know, that's the uh, cream of the crop right there. But then there's also with 250.96 million in liquidity but then savannah token also has 103.32 million and then mad meerkat etf has 26.64 million and now savannah token is used is now being used for the launch pad which gives it like extended utility and it has an unlimited uh cap I mean so, yeah max uh supply cap now well, it doesn't have a max supply cap, rather. Now, Mad Meerkat ETF also does not have a max supply uh, cap either. So they're both unlimited tokens. But then there's also Savannah Share, which does have a supply cap. But it's at 43.40 million, and I think it's because it has the same utility as an unlimited supply token. So that is a pretty good thing. We could deepen the liquidity of 12.67 million for Mad Meerkat Optimizer. We could deepen that liquidity if there was an unlimited supply. But yet again, we're still looking at the pros here, right? So there's that. So deeper liquidity. Uh, unlimited supply as we've seen in this ecosystem now, I'm not saying as a whole but in this ecosystem it provides uh, deeper liquidity all right another pro it could potentially give us a higher price if everyone held like nobody for real dumped everybody held and that could be said for the same if it was five million max supply I think there's no, like, we don't even have to look deeper in that if everyone held the price will go higher the value of the token will go higher so there's that we could just go right past that one now <clears throat> exponential rewards now that it has an unlimited supply right there will be 
exponentially more pumped out for MMO. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying like, I'm not them or anything. I'm not saying that the emissions would change. Maybe they would stay the same as we'll see in the bonus, like what we're going to talk about in the bonus. But so far, um, maybe they pump out more, more than intended instead of like 5 million. It goes a little bit further, but yet again, it's supposedly it's intrinsically locked with like a total value locked or the, just the market cap and where there's less emissions, but we'll get more into that one. So Exponential rewards could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Who knows? It it will definitely go further than five million. So maybe you know, or well, it could. It potentially could. So who knows? Maybe there will be more rewards. So it'll be more exponential. I think. But let's go to the next one. Project integration. Yet again. Now we've seen with Mad Meerkat Finance. Left and right, out the wazoo, it's integrated with Savannah Token, it's integrated with METF, it's integrated with Savannah Share, and it's got this much liquidity. So it does, that also does provide deeper liquidity. But also Savannah Token is also being integrated. I can't remember the exact project. And <clears throat> METF, the project I do know, is, uh, what's it, Pegasus Dollar? Yeah, Pegasus Dollar is also adding some liquidity up in here, but you know, it, uh, Savannah share, I don't believe, I mean, I'd have to look back, but I don't believe that it's integrated anywhere, but it's integrated with the Savannah token where like where it launched with. So I don't see any problems there, but MMO is not really integrated with anything. So that would also be a bonus. And if they use the MMO for launch pad projects where we can uh, supply capital so they can provide liquidity, that would also be a bonus too, you know? So that's also like, that's why it's in the pros, you know, so we can have project integration, they could utilize it more. And th that's actually the next one, which is, which would bring more utility. And that's kind of self-explanatory and kind of connects with project integration. There would be more for the token instead of just, you know, uh, just the auto compounding. Fe well, not the auto com manual compounding feature. There'd be more to do with it, with the deeper liquidity and the project integration. So there are the pros. <laughs> Now let's get ready for the cons, all right? So <clears throat> one con, it dilutes your position. Now some people don't know what uh, diluting is and I believe there's should be another L, but forget about it. So like diluting, let's say, <clears throat> excuse me, let's say that you hold something, you know, the US dollar, and then somebody holds, let's say the ruble, now let's say next year you have one hundred dollars. The next year, your one hundred dollars from last year costs you one hundred and ten, and then the ruble. Let's say you had a hundred dollars worth, but now it's one thousand dollars worth. See, there's a difference between with like a, a MMO. So like obviously the USD has more value than the ruble. <laughs> okay, so like um. So same kind of same thing. If we had a max supply of 5 million and kept it at 5 million, we'd have more purchasing power per se. Like our, our value retains a lot more, a lot more compared to an unlimited supply. If there was an unlimited supply and let's say 5 million this first year, but then next year it's a hundred million in circulating and it still retained the same market cap. It just would not have the same purchasing power. That's just one. All right. Here's another one. Unlimited supply, variable emissions. Now this kind of gets into the later cons that are, um, I tell you, it's, it's actually pretty significant, but unlimited supply, variable emissions. Um, we don't have control of the emissions. The only thing we can control is putting uh, money into the pools. Now it's purported that it once uh, MMO hits a certain threshold, then boom shakalaka, it's like the emissions stop, but I don't exactly see where, like how high it would have to be. Like we'd have to hit a threshold that we don't even know. And it's an unlimited supply too, as it gets, like as we got back in, uh, what's it? Hold on, let me look at it real quick. As we got into dil diluting positions, right? So it's just, um, that's kind of just self-explanatory right there. Nobody likes unlimited supply. And plus there'd be variable emissions that we, are not in control of and that gets into later uh cons uh slides so 
Let's go to the next one. All right. It angers long term slash early investors. As we've already seen, uh, people are not holding it anymore just because of the proposal of hearing the proposal. Uh, like we lost what nearly oh well well over two hundred right two hundred holders. No, those could have been potential long-term holders or early investors that felt like they're getting screwed. I'm not mad at them. I'd be pissed. Like, I'm still, like, if it passes, I'll be kind of pissed off too. I'm not going to lie to you. But that's just, that's just, you know, them's the rules. <laughs> so vote, vote, vote. Um, let's go ahead and go to the next one. It warrants more uh, centralization. And that gets into what we were just talking about earlier about unlimited supply of variable emissions. So it warrants more centralization. So we are not exactly holistically, oops, sorry, in control of the emissions or we would, nor would we be in control of an unlimited supply. At least with 5 million, we'd have some sort of leverage, but with an unlimited supply, we have no leverage basically with a limited like with a limited supply of like five million it becomes centralized people have theirs well i, I should say yeah in, in, a, in a sense it's centralized people have their tokens and there's nobody else that can you know mint more tokens and put more tokens in existence so therein it's uh, less centralized. I'm not going to say decentralized, less centralized than, uh, let's say this unlimited supply. I mean, anybody could, uh, have it. And like the next slide, boom, shakalaka, it'll show you why. So let's go ahead and, uh, look at loss of voting power slash gives way to bad actors. So let's say that like a lot of people start dumping, selling that gives like, for instance, I'm not saying that these other projects would do it, but let's say that these other projects see the potential, like the uh, like the price going down, that gives them, as they have more liquidity, more capital than, let's say, the average user, then they can build up more on that. And I'm not saying that they would do something like that, but there's the potential to. So basically, when your position's getting diluted, your voting power is also getting diluted where um, you have less voting power and like, let's say these projects scoop up all this MMO, right? So when they scoop up all this MMO, they can, let's say, vote in their favor on their project, which wouldn't exactly benefit the user, if that makes sense. Like basically if we pick this unlimited supply, we're basically giving our voting rights, well, our voting power away. So, yeah, there's that. And there, here's some other projects too, like Adamant, for instance. It says 0.1% in the green, 0.622, you know? Uh, that'd be a really great price if it started with a, like, like a huge supply. But I believe it only started with like 100,000, and it was at $80, or nearly $80, and then, like, they kept pumping out the emissions. They had an unlimited supply. And then, boom, shakalaka, it went down. And that's just... And this was a fork up on Polygon from the uh, Binance Smart Chain uh, version of Bunny. So, and look at Bunny, too. Same. 26 cents, right? And it's 3.1% in the green on the day. But then, look, it ran up all the way up to... 477 and of course the emissions and the unlimited supply boom shakalaka now it's all the way back down here so people lose a lot of money on unlimited supply however there's still great supply tokens i mean well coins i should say so unlimited supply for ethereum we know ethereum right but it would need like bitcoin level of innovation to continue growing like this like you know ethereum's the first of its kind and of course there's other unlimited tokens well that are successful but in the realm of yield optimizers it's not exactly the same as we've seen with pancake bunny as we've seen with adamant so there's that right so it gives power away gives way to bad actors like as we've seen actually with uh mad meerkat optimizer real quick before we get into the bonus right so let's go ahead and uh, so we've seen in the seven day chart, let's look at it. <clears throat> Some people bought up the news. They bought it up and brought it all the way to $14 and 18 cents. And from what I've heard, it was a bunch of whales. So like some actors are coming in and either they're gonna heavily pick no 
or they're going to heavily pick yes. It's all up to that. It's all up to this vote. So, yeah, vote, vote, vote. And links in the description, and I'll uh, post the uh, proposal, the MM proposal uh, page where they might post it. So there's that. And then here's this bonus right here that I saw in the Telegram group, and it just didn't really make sense to me. I'm going to read the whole thing. So, guys, I think there's plenty of you being overly concerned with unlimited cap versus limited supply. Um, but if that's the case, you actually don't understand MMO's tokenomics. MMO is a token that inflates its supply based on price. Higher price, lesser inflation. What we are doing here is supposed to push up the price of MMO. Recall, higher price, lesser emissions. Our proposal will push up price up so it will so if you are worried about a supply cap what if i said that if we sufficiently push prices up enough emissions are lower to the point where five million token supply is never reached even with an unlimited supply now remember that <clears throat> that even if they had an unlimited supply emissions are lower to the point where five million token supply is never reached in theory, that can happen. So that's why I strongly suggest that you guys don't over sensationalize things and trigger yourselves over words like unlimited supply. As the article says, it's about taking away the training wheels. As investors, you need to adjust the mentality to understand the bigger picture we are aiming for here. But I'm glad at the end of the day here, <clears throat> it's a governance proposal. Our team our team do recommend you to vote yes, but at the end of the day, the choice is yours. I suggest you to internalize what I just said here. So this is why I internalized, right? Emissions are lower to the point where 5 million tokens is never reached, even with an unlimited supply. So the way that the project is growing, it would seem that we would never reach 5 million, right? We would never reach 5 million. And let's go to the max supply, max uh, chart right here. So the way it's growing, yeah, sure, we may never see 5 million. So if that is the case, then why lift the unlimited supply to try to get other projects in if we'll never reach 5 million? It makes no sense. So just might as well keep that as a safety measure for the max supply instead of an unlimited supply. That right there alone kind of just made no, no sense to me. It's like we don't need an unlimited supply then if it continues to grow. Why, why fix something that ain't broke, you know? But that's just, you know... I'm just keeping you up to date on the down low, but what do I know anyway? I'm not a financial advisor or anything, but uh, yeah, that's all I had to talk to you guys about. I guess I'll, uh, you know, see you guys later.